you are in the cruise, you are talking to your colleague, everything is fine, and then all of a sudden you have a technical problem that requires you to divert. So how can you choose the right airport to divert? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. The first thing that we need to understand is that as an airline pilot, especially as a commander, you need to make sure that the safety of the operation are never compromised, but also you need to make sure that the efficiency of the flight is at a very high standard and the punctuality is always respected. So as you can see, there are these three things that goes together throughout a normal day, throughout the operations. However, this is good when the day is going smooth and there are no problems. Anytime you have a problem, very big problem that requires you to divert or change your plan, the first thing and only concern that you should have in your mind is the safety. So the efficiency and the punctuality are not that important anymore because that plan has changed, okay? So again, efficiency and punctuality is very important only when the, there is a normal day. But when you have a non-standard day, when there is a non-normal situation happening or more, the first thing, the only thing you want to prioritize is the safety, okay? So as we said before, if you are cruising and then all of a sudden you have a problem, okay? The first thing that we need to take into consideration are the Airbus golden rules, all those rules that your instructor told you since day one. So aviate, navigate, communicate. So first of all, you need to make sure that your aircraft is flying by checking the PFD, the FMA, by making sure that the aircraft is actually flying the right path. Then you navigate, so you ask yourself, is good to continue or do I need to take any corrective actions now that are very important? And then you communicate, okay? So you want to inform the ATC if needed and required, okay? So if you need, for example, to level off, you need to talk to ATC, okay, if you need to divert or if you need any aiding that will make sure that the safety is not compromised because of that problem, you need to talk to ATC. Once you've done your aviate, navigate and communicate, you start to deal with the problem, okay? The problem usually is either a technical problem or a medical emergency. One of these two usually, it's, they are the big families, okay? So if you have a technical problem, you start to deal with the problem by identifying the failure by stating the malfunction, okay, seeing what is the actual problem, okay. Some aircraft are better than others, such as the Airbus A320 has the HICAM that tells you what is the problem. Some aircrafts are a little bit more complex, such as the Boeing 737 that doesn't have the HICAMs, and the pilots need to identify and understand the problem by looking at the lights and the switches, okay. But either one or the other, you need, first of all, to make sure that you understand what is the actual failure. Once you understand what is the failure, you apply the procedures, either the ECAM actions, the memory items, or the QRH. Now, with the situation that you have on your hand, you have to ask yourself, what I have to do? Every island, they use their own methods that helps the pilot to take the correct decisions. They help the pilot on the decision making once the situation has been taken into control, okay? Once the, the situation is under control, okay? One of the most common used procedures to come up with a decision making is the DODAR, okay? Which is, for example, every letter stands for something and the pilot, by talking about each letter, will make sure that we don't leave anything behind and we take into consideration in order to come up with a decision that actually is the safest one. Okay, DODAR, for example, stands D for diagnosis. So on the D of diagnosis, you check what is the problem, okay? O for options, so what are the options around us, okay? D for decision, okay? So as you can see, every letter has its own meaning. And if you are interested and you need to learn how to use this DODAR, or PAYOSI, which is another decision-making acronym that the companies use in order to come up with a good decision. I make on the pilot crime, pilot job interview course, I talk about this very deep, okay? But anyway, once you took the, the situation under control by applying the memory items, the curage or the ECAM actions, okay? You need to come up with a solution. How do you choose an airport if you need to divert? So first of all, the first thing that you should do if you have a navigation display, check on the navigation display which airports are close by. What, I, what does I mean by close by? Usually I take a range that is within three times my altitude. So if I'm flying at 30,000 feet, I take a range of 90 miles because this is going to be my gliding distance 
and I don't trust pretty much that it will allow me to do the approach and land in an airport. Okay, so there is a problem and a mistake that many people have done in the past, and I hope I will never do it. I hope, okay, is that some people, when you have some problems, they only check the airport in front of you because the navigation display shows you the aircraft and the, air, the airports in front of you. But maybe just behind you, there is a super good airport that is the best options for you. So, any times you are trying to analyze in which options you have available, also make sure that you take into consideration the airports that are behind you. Okay, many people they only take consideration the airports that are in front of them. Okay, so always think about that. Once you have seen how many airports and which airports you have available, think about this. Okay, where do you want to land? For sure, you want to land in an airport that has a good runway good weather a good approach aids okay so for example in ls okay once you find out these airports okay you will see that you already you're gonna uh, basically reduce your options because some of those airports gonna have a short runway or will have only a vor or ndb approach available or have bad weather once you have a good runway long run with a good approach uh, instrument approach procedures with a good weather think about try to uh, ask yourself a question which is the airport that is a base or a destination of my airline. Okay, so for example, you have three options. Two options are airports that the airlines never fly there, and and the other option is a base where you have maintenance, you have every everything there because your airline has actually a base there. Maybe the best option, if you have the same weather, the same characteristic of the airport, the best option is for sure the base one. Okay. Another very important thing that you should take into consideration, especially if you have to divert after a go around, is the fuel. Okay, so take into consideration the fuel and make sure you choose an airport that you can actually reach. The typical scenario is that you arrive on short final, you are, you are already low on fuel because you've done all your flights, you lower the gear and the gear just doesn't go down, doesn't go down and lock, but maybe you have two wheels down and one wheel up. Okay. So maybe that day is a short run with your destination. You perform a go around and you know already that that airport is not going to be a, a good option for you because it's a super short run. So you want to divert somewhere. In that case, the first thing that you need to take into consideration when choosing the right option is the fuel. So how much fuel am I going to go? Am I going to burn with this aircraft configuration now that I have more drag due to the gear to reach my uh, destination ultimate? Okay. As you can see, this is another scenario and you need to be able to change your mindset and change your decision making, decision making depending on the situation. Okay, but usually by a planet daughter and the payosi in a right way, you're gonna end up with a correct decision. So check the runway, long runway, check the instrumental approach procedure that's available, check the weather, make sure it's good weather. Happened to me, for example, that we arrived at our destination, the weather was below the minima, okay, so we couldn't land there, we pick up an holding. We took the weather for our destination alternate number one and the weather was just, was a limit weather. So the aircraft were landing but some were going around because the visibility and the LVR were just at the minimum required for the landing, okay? So then we took another option, we saw the cavalcade was there. So am I going to risk to divert to my des destination alternate number one? No, because at that point I'm low on fuel and I don't, don't want to play with safety. So instead of selecting the commercial number one, we divert to the commercial number two, which was a little bit more far away, but we had good chances to land. So when you are choosing the airport, again, check the weather, check the length of the runway, the instrumental approach that you have available, and then see if you have any base or destinations where your airline flies to. Once you have taken all of these into consideration, and if you have still spare times, you can still contact your company and ask for guidance. Okay, so happens to me in the past that we were diverting due to a technical problem. We had good, uh, we have time available, so I contact the company and said, guys, Tell us where do you want us to go. They said, go to that destination, to that airport. We checked the weather, running was good, weather was good, instrumental approach was good, we landed there, okay? But again, it's a captain call. So if the captain decides to land somewhere else due to a technical problem, it's up to the captain's discretion, okay? Nobody can say anything because if the captain has good reasons, uh, for that, you can completely do that, okay? So as long as you're not compromising the safety, if that decision is driven by safety, is 100% good, okay? So guys, I hope now I help you a little bit more or understanding 
on understanding how you can choose the right airport where to divert to. Again, if you really want to understand in deep the decision-making process of the dollar, Payosi and so on, check the pilot client pilot job interview course available on my website. If you have any question, leave a comment below and I'll help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0, please.